What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. We'll be talking about these latest updates that have come out about Scream 7 courtesy of Production Weekly. Shout out to UK for sharing this with me. Now, I do want to preface this by saying that of course, given the ongoing strike still, that this could change. But as of now, it seems that these are the tentative plans that they have in place going forward if everything is able to go according to schedule now previously in a lot of other my old videos i've told you the alleged rumors that have more or less been confirmed more times than i can count at this point with christopher landon and how early they want to start shooting it would appear as though according to production weekly they definitely do want to start filming in early 2024 because it references quarter one as the status which indicates that they want to start filming around that time and then also it states that wrapping of the production would be april of that same year april 19th 2024 and that the working title of scream 7 is apparently going to be blackbird now here's the other important thing now, as you see this production weekly posting on your screen notice that it still has the blackmore C cad productions ltd montreal quebec canada canada address that we know was the address used and had been registered prior to the release of screen five and that's of course where filming took place for scream six so it would appear that scream seven is also going to stay in new york city most likely according to this address and we know we discovered shout, shout out to you craving something scary for discovering this we know we discovered that mcgill university was across from the office in some capacity and that's where we found out okay blackmore university is going to come into play we know the working title for scream six was blackmore we know that mcgill university basically was the fictional setting of blackmore university in scream six so we could be seeing the characters back at college once again but a little bit more in-depthly maybe they'll use the city in a lot of more unique ways this time while also balancing the time spent with the characters on college seeing them on campus interact with each other chad tara mindy whatever other newbies come into the mix however here's the other thing that i'm thinking about could this mean that this is even more strong of an indication that nev campbell will be back as sydney prescott i mean the chances of her coming back they're not they're not slim i would say they're not slim they're just not something that as of right now i would say i feel too confident on although i do recall that she did tell someone apparently that she couldn't speak on it at one of these conventions recently that she couldn't speak on her participation in scream seven whereas if as opposed to that with scream six she was going around telling people i'm not doing it and then she came out and gave an official statement backing up her reasons why so you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if any of this makes you excited as for the working title being blackbird i have no idea what that could indicate other than maybe some type of death and mystery i think that's what blackbirds tend to represent i could be mistaken um uh, i know blackmore the working title of scream six was representing was well not representing but in reference to what they were referring to billy loomis in the script for scream five as john blackmore instead of saying billy loomis that was like a cold name for bit for billy loomis so We'll, we'll just have to wait and see how Blackbird relates to anything. I know Scream 5's work title was Parkside Alpha. Parkside Alpha didn't really amount to much in terms of the context of what we got in Scream 5, but we know Blackmore was the code for Billy Loomis, and Billy Loomis this in a, a, a minor smidgen of a way influenced the narrative of Scream, Scream 6 and Scream 5. But the, the title of Parkside Alpha in context of what we got in Scream 5 doesn't really make a lot of sense. Blackbird being the working title of Scream 7 might have something to do with what we can expect in this story, probably won't. However, I will also say this. This again could easily be changed and altered if the strikes are not resolved. But apparently, it would seem that we are moving in the right directions with these strikes. So hopefully, everything is able to be resolved. Hopefully, filming for Scream 7 will be able to commence in quarter one of 2024, and they'll be able to wrap by April of that same year, because that, again, is the plan according to Production Weekly listing. And I would still imagine and think if they're able to wrap in 2024 in April, they could spend the summer in post-production and then if they still want to release it in the fall, maybe that's still a possibility. Maybe it won't exactly come out in October, but it could come out in November. 
Maybe. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it coming out in November, but I know a lot of people will want them to capitalize on it by having it come out in October of 2024, because that's also the alleged time frame that they wanted the movie out Paramount that being, according to Vera Non in a tweet they had put out a few weeks ago. So we'll just have to wait and see how all this comes together. Now, the other tidbit about this is keep in mind, and again, shout out to UK for pointing this out. If they are filming in quarter one of 2024 in Quebec, Montreal, Canada, wouldn't we then be possibly looking at a greater likelihood of Ghostface in the snow? If you're filming in quarter one, because keep in mind, they weren't filming in the winter for Scream, for Scream 6. If they're filming in quarter one for Scream 7 in Canada, same area, the chances of snow are on the table. So could Christopher Landon be delivering us a a winter setting in Scream 7 with Ghostface killing people in the snow. Maybe people will be turned off by it depending on how it's executed. But as of now, until I get to see that, I will say that I'm one of those people who would be intrigued by seeing a setting like that. Seeing Ghostface in the snow. I wouldn't be against it. Maybe there's some sort of snowstorm that confides this all into one specific setting for the majority of the film. Not to say that that necessarily would be the outcome that is best to do. But there's always a chance that we could see Ghostface in the snow if they're filming around this time in Montreal. And we could be at a singular singular location if that's what they decide to do with the narrative and people are trapped in a snowstorm. All of our survivors from Scream 6, throwing Sidney Prescott, throwing Gail Weathers and whatever other newbies are tossed into the mix. Get Christina Carpenter's ass in here finally and do something to rationalize uh or like kind of just loop in her story with the ongoing events with Sam and maybe tie tie up any loose ends that she might have to that original movie to kind of mirror what you got in Scream 3. Now, of course, if there is some touches of Marine Prescott detail involved in this, then I could say, yes, you're now you're now going to give me a reason to say, OK, now we've Sydney into this. But as of now, on the surface, six has done nothing for me to then come come out and say we need Sydney in Scream 7. It's just a it's just a desire of mine that I wouldn't mind seeing the character come back, obviously. But more importantly, my biggest hope for Sydney Prescott is that she's able to retain her peace and just live her best life, be a devoted wife, be a devoted mother and just fly up drive off into the sunset away from all this bloodshed and let these newbies get a crack at it because that's what they signed up for and that's what they're gonna have to deal with sydney already dealt with her time in that bloodshed so she can go have her peace you guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video